Hey everybody, today we are starting the last episode of Minecraft Story Mode of Journeys and episode 8. This is <clears throat> the last episode. This will probably last us like one, two, or three actual episodes. But yeah guys, this is the last one after this. It is over guys, we have finished Minecraft Story Mode, but without further ado... What did I just do? <laughs> without further ado, in about three seconds, let's start the episode. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See? <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah. We've got your back, Jesse. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Oh, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I... Guess you could say that. Let's just say I didn't leave the others on the best of terms. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh.
have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just... What in the world did Harper dump us into? Like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a no, game? No, no. Jesse's right. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! Oh. Ah. My only decent teammate! Oops, did face me drop something? Looks like the green team captain. Just need to help! Welcome back to the to our new company. Jesse! Jesse! No! I'll help Petra. Get Ivor, quick! <sighs> wow, nice one, Jesse. That was close. Uh, oh. <gasps> <gasps> Ivor! Lucas! Jesse, I... No, 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 no! What? It can't be! Whoa, no way, dude! I got a double! <laughs> no! Uh, <gasps> Hey, 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 whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude! What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Slab is down. I repeat, slab is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so... Are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead! You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, I'd love to see you try that short stack. That won't be necessary. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. Say, so can we get somebody to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh. 
Really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope. Not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. They don't deserve to be here, Adrian. It's interesting. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, what about this? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You playing the games, if you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose... Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before, uh, I could work out all the details. You don't say? Ah, uh, I'm s I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. 
Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Mm. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, um, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. Got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Aha! Uh -huh. There's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't luck. Cheaters! Don't stand around breathing a ball of face meat air! Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines! Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on Facemeat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at Facemeat. Please, pretty please let them go. Mm. Facemeat knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh. Well, there is something you can do. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat'll think about getting your friends out. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were, like, amazing. I am now... <laughs> And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, brah. I will never do that to one of your friends again, because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status! Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs! Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't like tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is like... Pfft. She is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? 
No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Everybody loves Tim around here. Uh, yeah, and justifiably so. He literally saved his entire team, and in style. His armor didn't even get dirty. He's a real Timspiration. Yeah, it's true. He could do the Tim possible. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. 
He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fish it out some respawns inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Yeah, hand it over, meathead. And Slab, the immovable! Get out of here before I use this book to punch your face in. Fine. I just want to get through one more chapter. Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Hey! Get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of today's episode, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to look in the comment as it supports the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.